The purchase information tab is where you will record your purchase information for this vehicle. So you're going to enter the date you purchased the vehicle and that can be backdated. So if you purchase vehicles over a period of time and then enter them in the system all at once, you can make sure that you attach the correct purchase date to each vehicle. Then you'll enter your car cost, which is what you paid for this vehicle. And if you add a pack fee into your car cost, you'll enter that pack fee here. And a pack fee is a soft dealer fee, meaning that there will not be a journal entry associated with this fee. And it's typically used for something like covering service hours required on a recondition or to pay commissions to somebody. You can enter your vendor code or the auction or dealer that you purchased the vehicle from by selecting that dealer or vendor from your pre-filled or pre-created lookup list, which will be created in lookup maintenance under the System Utilities Activity Center. You can also add or edit or delete a vendor. So if you need to add one on the fly, you can do that by clicking Add. You are able to track buyers. So if you want to know who in your dealership is purchasing what vehicles, then you can create a buyer lookup table and then select one of your buyers from that table. And again, you can add, edit, or delete on the fly. If you purchased this vehicle from an individual on Craigslist or eBay or something like that, you can enter the individual's information here. And then you'll document how you paid for the vehicle. The system is going to default to AP draft payable, meaning that you were given an invoice that you have to pay. So maybe you've purchased several vehicles in this month and you have to pay them all by the 30th or 31st. So you have an invoice and you know that you have a short period of time to pay that invoice. If you add, if you do create a draft, then you would simply click add draft and document the draft amount and the draft date and then click save. You can change the payment options from cash, check, AP draft payable. If you are a dealer that has a floor plan or a line of credit extended to you from a specific lending institution, then you can create a floor plan by adding the floor amount, the floor date, and selecting that lending institution from a, from a pre-created lookup table. You can also document whether this is a trade-in or a repo that you just have to put back into inventory. I'm just going to select cash for our example. Once you have made your payment or documented your payment, if you've created a draft or a floor plan, you can come back into the purchase information tab and view the history for your draft floor plan or just the payment of the vehicle. And once you've added all your purchase information, you'll click save or move to the next tab and continue working through your tabs and then saving the vehicle into inventory.